Hi everyone, it's Carolyn here to share another channeled message from the Light Keepers, a group of angelic beings, a channel for your awakening journey. So today's channel is about boredom. Mm, it's important. So we'll talk about that and then I'll share my information as well. And then you can think about it for yourself as always. So first of all, before we get to the channel, I want to welcome all of you who are new. I always mention my welcome video on my YouTube channel, Carolyn Zeiser, as well as the free gift video that offers you six tips on how to create flow in your body for health and wellness, which is super important for our bodies during this awakening journey. So check it out, click below, and you also get more free content through that one video as well. So I am a distance energy healer channel and I'm a spiritual awakening mentor. And I offer you those services through my website, Purple Rain Healing. You can check that out and I'll leave some more information at the end of this video. But again, I welcome you and all of those of you who actually join me on a regular basis and I so appreciate it. And so welcome to all of you who are new. I appreciate you joining me and I welcome back all of you who are always here and have the coolest comments and teach me so much along my journey as well. So today's channel, as I mentioned, is I'm titling Boredom. So check it out. Here we go. Boredom is the sign of the times so that you are never blind to all that will soon be in front of you. Stuck you may feel in wondering why nothing is moving forward, nor do you have any interest in mind. But know that during this journey you will see these way stations of quiet and dissatisfaction with everything to be. For it is a sign we say of the next launching forward for you to be, all in store for you to see what next steps your soul has planned for thee. So that's just a little channel, but it speaks so much to this journey because in humankind, you know what we do, we just race forward and we think everything, for the most of us, has to come now and we want to work hard at it and we can't imagine ever taking quiet time and we just keep moving forward, right? and thinking that everything needs to come to us. Well, you know what? That's difficult energy for the beauty of this divine journey and our soul to speak to us. It's not about that. We do get way stations of quiet, as they say. I can tell you from my own journey, oh my heavens, over the last particularly three years, you know, I'll be moving forward and all of a sudden just boom, and nothing's happening. I'm not making anything happen, which actually is a good thing, right? Things aren't feeling like they're coming my way. I feel like I'm stuck. And then you start doubting and you think, wait a minute, what am I even doing here? Maybe I should just go back and get a real job, right? Those kinds of things where you're like, what am I doing? This is silly. Nothing's happening. I'm not getting signs and messages. I'm not getting my next steps forward. I don't feel inspired anymore to do this. I don't feel... Um, I don't feel motivated. I'm tired all the time. I'm fatigued. Well, so first of all, we have all the celestial events going on, right? That Those energetic influences impact us, but we also have the awakening. And when we awaken, we're more sensitive to everything, all right? So we, I, I liken it to like the flower, right? So you've got the flower closed up, right? Ready to bloom. And then that light starts coming in. And I've actually got a channel on this. <laughs> light starts coming in and the flower opens up and then all of a sudden it's totally open all that sun so guess what you're taking in more light okay so you're going to become more sensitive you're you're opening up to all of that and at the same time you know you can get overloaded with all that so they give you the they our higher self the universe gives you quiet times boredom times all right i've got some friends right now who feel like they're actually feeling guilty about this, okay? About not moving forward, not feeling motivated to do much of anything outside their day-to-day -day that they have to do. Not maybe building out their gifts, that kind of thing. And they're beating themselves up. Well, that doesn't do anybody any good and that just creates lower energy in yourself. So what I want you to do when this happens, lean into it, okay? Accept it for what it is, even though it's probably very uncomfortable for a lot of you if you're used to Kind of being a driven person and charting your own course like we do in humankind right but take this opportunity to kick back spend more time i don't know doing other things you enjoy um reading or you know, taking walks or, you know we should be doing that anyway right but point is is just lean into it and let that boredom take over and i know that can be disconcerting to feel bored with about everything 
But if you know that it's for a purpose, that it's your next launching forward that's coming, then you can intellectualize that and feel better about it. So lean into it. Know that you're getting the space for a reason because the boredom is like you've plateaued, okay? You've plateaued and now you're getting ready to leap forward in whatever the way that means for you on your journey. So that's what I have to say about this channel today. Don't let boredom affect you in a way that just brings you into a lower vibe state. Allow it to continue to move you forward. Know it's a natural part of this process that we get way stations of quiet and just accept it and enjoy it in your journey. Um, and that's difficult for the human. So anyway, that's what I have to share with you today. And I do want to also remind you of the spiritual awakening mentoring that I'm doing one-on-one -on -one sessions that have been highly impactful for folks as they move forward in their awakening journey. You work with me one-on-one, -on -one, we get on the phone. If we need to, we get on Skype and we talk about what you want to talk about. And I lead you forward in your journey as does your spirit team and angels because I channel our spirit team to give you assistance in that and so much channeled information comes through and it just glides where it needs to glide and they are just amazing sessions. So I would love to work with you in spiritual awakening mentoring. Check out on Purple Rain Healing my services for one-on-one -on -one mentoring as well as the individual sessions that I offer if you just want to test it out. Anyway, that's what I have to share with you and I want you to know how much I appreciate you and your comments and all the things that you guys teach me as well. So thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.